Hey everyone, this is Southwick, first year medical student at Bond Uni. In this video, we're going to be having a look at how I use Notion in my note-taking process. Um, it's a bit different to what every other medical student does. Um, and so what I'll do is I'll first kind of explain um, the kind of process I do before I use Notion and then we'll have a look at um, how um, Notion just takes all of that content that I've learned um, sort of into action and how I use it for later on and in, in preparation for exams and stuff like that. So let's get straight into it. So before any lecture starts, I first have a look at all the learning objectives for that lecture and then um, using those, I'll create a kind of skeletal framework. So it could be LO1 being linked to LO2, but actually the whole thing is actually related to LO3, if that makes any sense. So <clears throat> I make a skeletal structure of what, it, what the learning objectives are and how they're linked with each other. And that way I don't lose any pieces of information. And then using this whole... <clears throat> Using this whole kind of structure, I then go ahead and link to my previous knowledge. So, in that way, none of the information is lost again. And I would do this um, on the iPad um, usually, but after an incident that happened um, a few weeks ago where I lost all my data, I stopped doing it like that um, and I just mainly just do the mind map inside my head. and kind of have a overview of what where everything is and how everything is connected and then I'd walk into the lecture and then listen I listen um, into all the key concepts to make sure that um, this sort of big um, skeleton is in the right um, kind of shape and everything is linked properly and correctly and then I'd take in all the details that the lecturer gives up um, during the during the lecture and then at the end of the lecture, I'd recap everything again in terms of a mind map. And so this this time in my head mentally and kind of explain to someone um, how everything like kind of works out and what I've learned during the day. And after about a week or at least um, a few days, I use Notion. So the app that I would use when I'm using the iPad would be um, explain everything so that's the one that i'm using for this video now um, the other app that i also use is concepts um, is also very good to just see um, the overall big picture kind of thing so we'll now move on to the notion aspect and yeah i'll kind of show you a bit of like, how i use it and what's on my notion and things like that so let's sort of head over there so the, the home page is called Deep Extraction and this is where I kind of, um, if I get any kind of thoughts about um, or tasks that I remember somewhere along the day, I come and sort of just chuck it all in here. And as you can see, you can, um, there's the task table under which there's a shopping list that I remembered last night on the bus. Um, this column is the ASAP column. If I need to do it like urgently, as soon as possible, I put it in there, I tick that, but that's not that important and then notes anything that um, kind of needs you know description on due date context so is it in the context of all of these um, this one is obviously life admin so I select life admin and then this um, lightning rod thing is if it's important um, and then that's the project so I'll do another video on how to set it up like this so this is project of life admin and then once you click on it it just moves off so that'll be another video on that and how to set all that up but this is what I kind of use to track all my um, assignments my exams anything that I have to get done in a reasonable amount of time um, and also you can see this one for YouTube this one for medical school life admin and right at the bottom you have all the completed sort of lists that I've been doing over the past few weeks um, they all get um, sort of shoved into that section. Now, if you go to the side, you can see that there's multiple pages. So down here, you have medicine, YouTube task project, templates, personal home. Um, those have all the little things that you that I use. Um, but for this video, we'll just stick to the medicine one. So this is what mine looks like. 
um, I have a couple of quotes up there that I kind of live by. Um, and if you scroll down, this is what we have. So on the left side, we have all the kind of the pillars, I would say, of medicine um, to do with the course. And um, later on, um, after I graduate, on the right side, we have all our year's notes. Um, and then underneath the task table and then a big calendar of the main um, assignments and exams. So as you can see, I have a couple of things that are coming up in next month, which I'm starting towards at the moment. So if we uh, dive into the first years, this is how I kind of have it set up. So um, as you would know, there's a lot of videos on, um, on YouTube on, you know, about Notion. You can add these little kind of icons and emojis just to lighten up the kind of mood, I guess. Um, for this one, I have my learning um, outcomes and assessment stuff all on the right side. So this is a toggle function. So when you click on it, it kind of expands like that. Um, so those are all the things that I need to kind of tick off by the end of the year, which the curriculum helps me to do. So I don't need to really worry about it too much. And all of these um, sort of pages that I've added go into the kind of lectures and stuff that we're being taught um, here at Bond. So if we just click into um, genetics, we have that we have all of these. So these are all the kinds of things that we've done so far. And then we'll just click into SciShow Genetics. And this is where you can see all the kind of written aspects. So I said that earlier on, I was doing mind maps. Now, I wouldn't go up and type all of this because that's just a waste of time. I already know all this stuff from my mind, mind mapping. So what I would do is, the way that I would get this text is literally just copy paste all of the, the lecture slides into Notion. So because the lecture slides already have that bank of knowledge, um, and it's usually text, which I don't like to read. Um, it will, Notion will act as a reservoir of content. If I forget something in the future, if I need to re refer to something that I've forgotten, a little piece of detail, I just come to Notion and just um, search everything. So you can just click on the search one, uh, search bar, and then just um, search up, I don't know, chromosome. And then anything that has chromosomes in it will pop up. Um, in that way, I can keep track of everything and I can come back to anything at any time with minimal effort. And that's one of the biggest um, positives of having Notion is because if you handwrite your notes and you have pages and pages and pages of notes, you don't know where um, any of your notes are. So if you want to go specifically to chromosomes or cytogenetics in this case, you have to sift through all those pages and that's just a waste of time. So in this way, Notion is really, really useful. And again, you can use a tool function there. Um, and if you go back to conditions, which is right here, we have all these conditions. Now, this page looks very simil similar to Karmabetics and, and it's right, it's, very, it's exactly the same. That's because his one is really, really good. Um, it's something that I really like. So I've just literally just copied that one. And whenever you click into it, you, you can add conditions. So when you just, I added a template to this. So when you click on the plus one, it just comes up with all, with all of this. And you can just quickly write in all of your things. And this is for later years as well, when, you, when I get into more clinical stuff. But yeah, and then if you wanted to go into clinical skills, which you'll be using pretty much day in, day out, um, in later years, you can click into history taking and then that has all my notes under what I need to do on a full history check, all the um, sections of a history. Um, so you can see all of that there. If we go back to the OSCEs page, this is where I keep track of all my scenarios that I've been having on um, every other Tuesday. So. I go into the simulated patient environment, I talk to the patients, you would have seen it on the channel before, and whatever the stuff that the actors say, I kind of just understand, take it, and then just chuck it on here. So when the OSCEs actually come around, I can go back and practice um, 
with scenarios that are pretty legit from you know from the program so i'm not making anything up really and it's more su suited to the kind of mosques that we would get in the future and that's basically how i use notion so i hope you enjoyed that i hope that was useful um if there's anything else that you that you found surprising or you didn't know let me know but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one